What's up YouTube? Top Tactic Fishing here. Welcome to another episode. We are back here in Wilmington, Delaware, uh, trying to catch a carp today. We're trying to catch our first one of the year. And uh, as you can see in my last video that we were here at the spot, we did not catch any carp, but we did catch three catfish, which was good, which makes me think that the fish are starting to come alive a little bit in the swim. So, um, it's a cold today, not as warm as it was last time. We're looking about 35 degrees right now. So we're gonna try a different approach to, uh, to what we typically do when we go for carp. So I'm gonna show you what that is, so stay tuned. All right guys, so we're here, we're gonna be, we're gonna be here for a short, short session today. So we're gonna have to get our baits out pretty quickly, but um, as, you, as you've seen in my previous videos, or if you haven't seen, if this is your first time here watching this video, um, we're on the Brandywine uh, Creek that dumps right into a river here, about 100 yards down, it dumps into the Christina River. But um, this is a good spot for carp and catfish. I do catch a lot of catfish here, as you saw in the last video. So we're really hoping to see if we can get a carp today. We're gonna try to see if we can try to hit several areas along this stretch here of the creek and see if there might be carp kind of moving around through here. There is some some fallen trees nearby a little bit. So given the cold weather, you might be able to find some carp stacking up somewhere. So we're, for bait selection, we're gonna be using corn and the pop-up boily here. Uh, I'm using the, the pack bait, of course. Um, so we're gonna get this on there. We're gonna cast this one out. All right, this is the uh, CC Morinus one pop-up special 14 milliliter boily here. So pretty small, pretty small bait, which works pretty well in this specific area. So we're gonna cast this out here. And like I said, we're gonna be fishing all along this stretch here. We're gonna first cast this one a little bit. I think we'll start it right about here. good cast there all right the second one we're using three pieces of pineapple ice cream from linear bait we're gonna give this one a cast we're gonna put our method lead on here and put our pack bait on here and then we're gonna cast this one farther down. All right, so we're gonna put our hook bait here. We'll put that right about here. Be nice to get something other than catfish today. I tell you, I've caught more catfish on carp bait than I have on catfish bait. I don't know, maybe it's just the smell of the hook bait and the pack bait that just draws them in. Good cast. All right, this last one's gonna have two pieces of the juicy pear corn. We're gonna go farther down to cast this one. We're actually gonna go over here. Perfect cast there.
Nice catfish here. This catfish is missing an eye. Look at that. Huh, it is really missing an eye. So nice catfish here. First one of the day. All right. There he goes. All right, that one was to the pop-up oily. I typically don't catch many catfish on the pop-up boilies, but we're going to get this one back out. Wow, guys, look at that. Things you see when you don't stay at home. This is kind of back up in the, uh, backed up in an area here really so I wouldn't be surprised if you have some other things going on back here too. Oh, I think we're getting something. We got a tap somewhere. Let me see. Oh, let's see what we got. Another catfish, looks like, here. Looks like the action's starting to pick up a little bit now. See how big this channel is. Not too, doesn't feel too, too big. But, uh, this might be a little bit bigger than the last one we got. <laughs> Watch it be the same one. And this was on the juicy pear horn yeah no, this one has another eye so this one has another eye another decent looking channel here yeah big ones this is a long one all right pick this one up yeah this will probably go about three pounds if I had to give an estimate here. Gotta wash my hands here. Watch my hands, rather. This calf is just trying to get out. But beautiful fish. Nice color to it. I don't know what it is, but all these catfish have really short whiskers. Barbs on them. Jeez. Uh, maybe a little under three, but uh, either way, some big channels that we're catching. Some decent ones. These are for all my catfishing friends out there. If you go carp fishing, you're going to catch catfish. So, but if you just go catfishing, you're not going to catch carp. <laughs> so... Might as well increase your chances of catching fish while carp fi uh, when you're carp fishing. Because catfish, they love carp bait. They love pack bait. They love flavor. They love corn, boilies. So if you want to increase your chances of catching a fish, go for carp. And then you can catch 
carp and catfish. If no carp, you'll catch catfish. <laughs> kind of like what we're doing right now. There we go. Another catfish. This is the third catfish. No carp. Nice one, nice size. All the catfish have been pretty decent size today. We'll say that. Tighten that drag there so I can lift him up. It was a very hard takedown. Line was just peeling out. So this one's probably gonna go, this might be close to four pounds. Decent one here. There it is, it's a nice one. Nice catfish. Well, go ahead and release this one. Nice, that was a nice one.